exact value of trigonometric expressions. I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will see how to calculate exact value of trigonometric expressions. We have secant 19 pi by 6 and cotangent 11 pi by 3 here. Now here we can see that the acute angle is this angle pi by 6 or pi by 3. Correct? Now when we say exact value then we should really look into our special triangles. So the special triangle which should help us in this case is 30, 60, 90, right? So let me sketch one 30, 60, 90 triangle, right? So this is 90 degrees for us. When we say 30, 60, 90, that is in degrees and now we are working in radians, 60 corresponds to pi by 3, 30 corresponds to pi by 6. 180 divided by 6 is 30 degrees, correct? And in this special triangle, ratio of the sides is, if the base is 1, hypotenuse is 2, and the side is square root of 3. 2 square minus 1 square, square root. Correct? Now let's look into each trigonometric expression. The first one is secant 19 pi by 6. Now what do we mean by that? We really mean that this angle should be that pi is divided into 6 portions. That is to say if this is our coordinate system and that is this pi has 6 portions so so we, we get 1 let me divide like this like this correct so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 portions pi has been divided into right similarly we'll extend these here also and we'll have 6 more so 2 pi is divided into 6 and 6 12 right so that means one full circle 12 and then we have to go up to 19 so let's count after 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 so we can say that position represents 19 pi by 6 do you see that so we had pi by 6 that means 6 pi by 6 12 pi by 6 18 pi by 6 and one more 19 pi by 6 so basically 19 pi by 6 for us is is one full circle and then that is the point correct that is 19 pi by 6 now we are looking into secant what is secant secant is reciprocal of cos correct so cos is adjacent over hypotenuse secant will be hypotenuse over adjacent side correct which angle we have to look for the acute angle now here the acute angle is this angle which is pi by 6 correct so acute angle is pi by 6 we are in quadrant we are in quadrant this is 1 this is 2 this is quadrant 3 this is quadrant 4 and we know the cast rule right cast rule is cos is positive in quadrant 4 all are positive in quadrant 1 sine in quadrant 2 tan in quadrant 3 secant is 1 over cos correct since it is related to cos it is negative here so we get a negative value since we are in quadrant 3 that's the first part now related acute angle is pi by 6 so cos of pi by 6 is what cos of pi by 6 is square root 3 over 2 so secant will be 2 over square root 3 right so we have 2 over square root 3 as the value of secant 19 pi by 6 I hope you understand and appreciate it right now let's look into cotangent of 14 pi by 3 so we'll follow the same method right so say here again 14 pi by 3 that is to say that our pi is divided into three portions so starting from here we have one portion 
two portion, three portion, right? So that is three, right? And then four portions, five portions, and six. So these are six portions. We have to go to 14. Now 14 means what? So six and six, 12, 13 and 14. So it is six and six, 12, 13, 14. So you end up there, right? So this is 14 pi by 3. Do you get the point? So that angle theta gives you 14 pi by 3. You are in quadrant. Which quadrant? Quadrant 2, right? Quadrant 2. Cot is reciprocal of 10, right? So we are looking for 1 over 10. And the acute angle here is how much? This is with the reference angle, you can see, is pi by 3, right? So it is 10 pi by 3. Is that okay? But we are in quadrant 2, so it's a negative value. Correct? And therefore, we can write down now the value. Pi by 3, cotangent. Tan is opposite over adjacent. Cotangent will be adjacent over opposite. So it is negative 1 over square root 3. So that is our answer. At times, what we do is, we rationalize it. If you rationalize it, in that case, let me write after rationalization. So we have minus 1 over square root 3. Rationalization means multiply by square root 3 and divide by square root 3. So we get negative square root 3 over 3. So this is another way of writing the same answer. But I hope you understand and appreciate how we got the value. right? So you should first figure out in which quadrant you are, then apply the cost rule so that you know whether it is negative or positive. Find the reference angle or the acute angle or the related acute angle. Based on that angle, look into your special triangle and then write down the exact value. That is a process we need to follow. I hope you understand and appreciate. Thank you and all the best.